Now, uh, there's a lot of uh, confusion when it comes to uh, COVID-19 in the recent times, especially with the new variant, because there are a lot of people who are getting a normal cold and uh, they are confusing it for uh, to be COVID-19. Now, to uh, clarify such doubts, I have uh, with me Dr. Naseem A. Hussain, who is a senior consultant and sp at Specialist Hospital in Kalyanagar, Bangalore. Doctor, first of all, absolute pleasure having you right here on IndigoMusic.com. Thank you very much, Rohit. I appreciate it. Uh... Your invitation to me and uh, uh, my response to your questions so it can help the local population so they can be safer absolutely now doctor there is a rise in case and there is also news that the cases are coming down but what's your take is it as serious as the first and second wave the third wave which is going on right now uh, answering your first question rise in cases yes there is a rise in cases which is ongoing but unfortunately, I think in Bangalore, I've seen, uh, and my colleagues as well, I've seen a lot of cases, Omicron cases coming in positive. Yes. But the good news is that, unlike the first and the second wave, we are absolutely fine now because we took the two doses of the vaccine yes. and we took the booster doses as well. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the situation is such that when we develop the Omicron positive cases, we are in the mild range where you have fever, cough and running nose. Right. So answering to that question, yes, we are, we are okay now and the severity is not that much. Right. Now, uh, you know, it's there's also another flu that's going on right now. Is that true? Is that uh, actually true? Absolutely, yes. See, this is seasonal uh, flu, which we, we have uh, starting October, November, toward the colder seasons going on until January, February. Okay. Right. So that is a normal flu, flu, what we call like upper respiratory tract infections, what we have. All right. right? And uh, so let me tell you this. If a patient now during these times when the Omicron is ongoing, if you're developing these symptoms of fever, sore throat, throat irritation, rhinitis, running nose, you are Omicron positive unless proved otherwise. Right. So if you have your friends your family please them including yourself please ask them to get a rapid antigen testing which is a screening you know test to prove whether you are positive or you're negative because the treatment is you know in two different directions right all right if you're omicron positive then you know you're going to treat in a different way the flu is treated in a different way right right now this time even kids are being affected uh, with the new variant uh, what are some of the steps that uh, you know as parents what should they do to keep their children safe okay that's a very good question you know children fortunately are not that severely affected as we have seen during the first and second wave right. and also during the third wave they're not that uh, so affected so most of the pediatricians i'm a physician i'm an internist but however you can treat them very mild asymptomatically you can treat them by giving some antihistamine for the fever you can treat them only for the fever no right. antiviral drugs they will be positive all right they will be positive don't have to be bothered much about that though all right okay treat them symptomatically give them some vitamin and uh, vitamin c okay right now uh, how can uh, as a common man how can he or she differentiate between covid and a normal general flu oh. Simple answer to that question. Like I said earlier, the COVID-19, the Omicron variant now will present in the same way as an upper respiratory tract flu infection. Okay. Right. Fever, rhinitis, running nose, sore throat, you know, cough. Okay. Okay. So immediately when you have the symptoms, go ahead and get a rapid antigen testing, which is very over the counter. You can get it in any pharmacy. Right. Go ahead and get it. And you know, get it done yourself. In a minute or two, you'll know whether it's positive or negative. Once you're positive, contact your local doctor, home quarantine. That's very easy, you know. Yes. So you do it for about home quarantine for about 10 to 14 days. United usually in the United States, it's about five days. But right. still, you know, you're you're shedding the viruses. Yeah. Okay. So you use your masks and other things, right. and you, know, you can continue. That. Right. Now, speaking about masks, doctor, uh, what kind of mask should one wear? Very good question, Roy. You know, this is very, very important. You asked a very, very important question. Yeah. We use the N95. Most of the doctors anywhere, 
you know in any hospital we use the n95 mask right. so when you're using the n95 remember the mask should be covering it has got a metal uh, clip which clips Correct. onto the bridge of your nose to the side of the nose and under your chin right. because the virus can gain entry into your body only through your nostrils nowhere else it can gain entry okay so ideally answering your question it will be n95 masks right all right right that is a mask everybody and in the united states now in most of the pharmacies what right. they're doing is the government has come out with a plan now it's already in in process right and it is already implemented where you walk into any pharmacy you are given a free n95 mask right all right even in the home you know the government supplies approximately about four kits for the right. rapid antigen testing it is freely supplied to the and it's very cheaper actually i think it's about 300 400 rupees yes. it's worthwhile yeah. for you to you know to get those tests done but n95 mask right n95 masks it is now uh, there's reports doctor of uh, an endemic basically the pandemic is coming to an end is it true in india not yet we are not reached that stage yet in europe right. yes right. already now they're treating it if you look at it in england okay in the united states still not yet because okay. it's a huge country right uh, england already they're coming into normal see where from this week starting this week right you can go without a mask because most of them are you know vaccinated correct and you know in public places you need not wear a, a wear a mask in india right. endemicity we still actually stepped into the third wave which is fortunately mild we are okay right. no more deaths you know as we saw that in the second wave that is absolutely fine yeah. endemicity we will be knowing probably i would say somewhere around april may right. okay so because the trend is showing towards endemicity that means we don't have to be alarmed right. we are not losing so many lives as we lost in the in the last second uh, and the first wave okay yes i think probably we will see it in two or three months it is too early to answer that question right now doctor one final message that you would like to uh, you know give out to all our listeners and the viewers who are watching this absolutely i would love to do this to all the you know people and uh, you know to all the family and friends of those people most importantly please use your n95 mask same protocol okay Right. that is covid-19 protocol and uh, uh, that will be n95 mask social distancing hand sanitizer if you don't have a hand sanitizer wash your hands at least minimum 20 seconds with soap and water all right get your two doses of vaccines okay and get your booster third dose this is yeah. all that is required right. in case in case you develop flu you know upper respiratory tract infection like i mentioned earlier okay go ahead do not hesitate to go and get a rapid antigen testing okay right. and you have your family and friends advise them tell them you know that okay look you know if you have this upper respiratory infection go ahead and get your rapid antigen testing this is the best way you are absolutely safe do not worry about it don't be scared you're perfectly all right you'll come out through this i can assure you that i'm sure you know my colleagues other doctors as well can assure you on that if you follow this basic you know covid-19 protocols right that's that's definitely a relief uh, thank you doctor for answering all the doubts and clarifying them uh, most importantly once again it was an absolute pleasure having you here with us and uh, please stay safe yeah thank you rohit for inviting me into the show and I hope you know all our people you know most of our uh, you know public and our citizens they remain safe